At secondaryDIYglazing.com, we are often asked if our secondary glazing systems reduce noise. The answer is yes they do, as the air trap between the secondary pane and the outer window provides both heat and noise insulation. However, it's difficult to prove it in a video as our camera automatically adjusts the sound, taking the edge off loud noises and amplifying quiet ones. So we're going to give you a visual demo instead which is possible because of the way sound works. Sound is energy that travels in compression waves from its source. Conducted by air, it is capable of getting through solid structures like walls and windows by vibrating them. These vibrations in turn vibrate the air on the opposite side to create new sound waves that can reach your ears. In the tests that follow, music from this phone via this Bluetooth speaker, we'll hit our test frame to vibrate it. We will show you how these vibrations can be reduced. In each test, the music will be a constant loudness using the same song, which will be stopping and starting without changing the volume. We're using solid polycarbonate sheet, and each chamber is edged with foam draft excluder to isolate vibrations between levels. To start us off, if you imagine hearing music through an open window and then closing it, it would be a bit like this. In the tests that follow, we're using equal quantities of tiny plastic pellets to illustrate surface vibrations caused by the music. Test 1 demonstrates that thicker sheet has more mass, so we'll vibrate less and pass on less sound. First we use 2mm sheet, plastic pellets and 10 seconds of music. Now we change the sheet to 4mm thick, we use the same pellets and the same music, expecting reduced vibrations. Test 2 demonstrates that by adding a chamber of air and a secondary pane, vibrations reduce more. Using 4mm sheet and pellets underneath, and by adding a large chamber of air with a secondary pane, pellets and 20 seconds of music. The vibrations on the first sheets were more than those on the second, so the chamber of air has reduced vibrations and onward noise. Test 3 demonstrates that a deeper chamber of air is more effective than a shallower chamber. We're using 4mm sheet, a 45mm high chamber, and watching the vibrations on this secondary 2mm sheet with another 20 seconds of music.
So we've changed to a 90 millimeter chamber, trapping more air between the sheets. Pellets and music are as before. The deeper chamber results in a lot less vibration. The tests were designed to give clear visual evidence of three basic principles of window insulation, namely that an air chamber and secondary paint will reduce noise, a deeper air chamber improves this insulation, and that the thickness and therefore mass of the sheet also improves it. The tests were as simple as we could make them for demonstration purposes. There is much, much more detailed information of how sound works in relation to windows and secondary glazing, along with diagrams and another video on www.secondaryDIYglazing.com. Go on to the noise reduction page using the web address in the captions. We hope that the information on our website is useful and interesting.